Thank you so much, Brandon. Right now we want to get to breaking news that we're following for you this afternoon about high school sports, high school winter sports specifically. As you know, it's been a battle brewing between Governor Gretchen Whitmer and the legislature, and we have learned at a briefing this afternoon, she is expected to announce a movement towards resuming sports. Rob Maloney joining us live now. And uh, Rob, this comes after a House Oversight Committee hearing this morning on the topic. What did we learn from that? That's right. Uh, yeah, uh, right about 1030, they held a hearing and they were taking up a, a bill, a Republican bill that would essentially take some of the governor's power away from her and leave it to local school districts to be able to decide whether to play sports or not. And in that, there was a discussion and one of the Democratic representatives said that uh, uh, th that the governor at 130 is expected to end the sports ban. Now, there has been considerable pressure building on this. The governor was sued earlier this week. The state was sued earlier this week by a group called Let Them Play Michigan because they want to see high school sports get back going. Now, what we don't know is precisely when sports might start and how it's all going to get rolled out. That's something that we'll have to wait until 1.30 for the governor on her press conference. But let's hear from State Representative Tim Beeson from Bay City talking about the whole situation and laying out why it is that he is proposing this bill. The simple truth is state government should be helping our children through the situation, not making it worse. The chaos of the pandemic has been hard on everyone, but especially the kids in Michigan. Most recently, winter sports like wrestling, competitive cheer, and boys and girls basketball were suspended, or were suspended and won't be able to play for a month. There is very little data available defending the suspension of our youth sports, but we have heard stories after stories about the way it's hurting our kids. Now, what's going to happen here is a much broader picture because this really is centered on the battle between Republicans in the legislature and the governor and the handling of COVID. There's about $5 billion worth of COVID funds in Washington, D.C. The legislature, Republican legislature, is going to pass the bill that would bring that money here to the state of Michigan. But inside of it, from their perspective, a couple of poison pills that control over the high school sports locally and also the idea that they would set aside extra money for school districts that go back to school face to face. A real battle here, the Democrat leadership this morning coming out and just slamming the Republicans for this move. So we're going to have to see how this plays out this afternoon and what the governor has to say. We'll have full details on it coming up on Local 4 News at 5 and 6. Reporting live in West Bloomfield, Rod Maloney, Local 4. All right, Rod, thanks for staying on top of it.